exercises to help the upper body. We have an overhead press where we take the band, step one foot inside. If you put both feet inside, you have more pressure. I'm gonna go with one foot inside. My hands are on the top of the band. As I pull up on the band, I drag my left elbow inside, then the right elbow inside, and I'm at chin level. I'll push overhead, bring the, back, the band back down to chin level. So it would be one, two, take your time on the way down. Don't rush these on the way down. Three, four, we're up into here, five. You can go 10, 15. Normally I go 20 reps here on the overhead press. I'll then drop the band down, hands on top of the band. Upright row, again, 10, 15, or 20 repetitions. In reference to a reverse curl, I'm gonna put my palms facing in, shoulders back, pull up under the chin, forward, and down. Take your time, don't rush it. You can hit it up into here and down, hit it up into here and down. Pull your shoulders back, Elevate the chest, squeeze the abs, pull and down, pull and down. If your shoulders are rounded, you're gonna miss the chest. Pull back, pull, pull. Bench press, standing bench press. Thumb up, left hand. Notice where the band is. You do not want the band on your thumb. This is incorrect here and you could dislocate your thumb if it's positioned here. The band is now across the palm of the hand. Thumb up. I take my right hand down through the band and squeeze. I'm not gonna turn loose of that because that band is set right across the palm of my hand. I bring my left hand palm up so I can look at the palm. Turn towards my body, turn the elbow towards the elbow, that puts the thumbs on the front side. If you're working by yourself, make sure your thumbs are on the front side of the band. In a team setting, I always check everyone's thumbs. Again, if someone's thumb ends up here, they have the potential of a dislocation. Take the band over the top, behind the back, and push downward. Make sure, if you want the chest, the elbows are in tight, the chest is high, squeeze the abs in and push down. That takes care of the chest there. Wide grip bench press or a real wide grip, you can work out through here in these different positions. You can bring the hands out and bring them in for a butterfly. This is an excellent exercise. There's five great exercises for the shoulders. Again, on the bench press, if I wanted more pressure, I would take the band off and wrap it around the hand. So what I did actually was I shortened it down. Now, if I just twist it around like this, that's not gonna shorten the band. All it does is put another twist in it. On this side, I wrapped it clear around my hand, but shortened the band down, Increase the pressure. Again, pull the chest up, push, push, push. 10, 15, 20 repetitions. So your workout might look something like this where you come in, step on the band, palms in, one, two, through, 10, 15, or 20. One, two, through, 10, 15 or 20. One, two, through, 10, 15 or 20. Take the band, flip it over. One, two, through, 10, 15 or 20. Butterfly, same thing, reach in here and pull. I can also drop down on the floor and give you a rowing machine which works pretty neat too, where you take the band here, you have a seat on the floor, 
Put the band around the foot. Position the hands in the center of the band. Bend the knee. Sit up straight. Elevate the chest. Pull in just below your rib cage. So pull and pull the shoulders back. Pull the shoulders back. Pull the shoulders back. It's important to work on the back side as well as the front side. But it wants a bench press. You need to row, you need to pull. Pull. This helps with proper chest carriage. These are some very fundamental and basic exercises that will be of great benefit.